So for this video, we're going to solve the following exponential equation. So we have 16 raised to the 3x plus 2 power equal to 4 raised to the 5x minus 8 power. So because we have non-numerical things as our exponents, we have 3x plus 2 and 5x minus 8. Um, this presents us a couple of uh, issues on trying to just straight out solve this. So what we need to actually do for this problem is we need to use a, a property that says that if our bases are equal to each other, then we can set our exponents equal to each other. So for example, if I had something like this, 5 to the 2x is equal to 5 cubed, because our bases are the same, 5 is the same thing as 5, the rule says that I can just set the exponents equal to each other. 2x is equal to 3 and solve that. Right, so I want to try and do that with my equation that I have here. Problem is the bases aren't the same. I have a 16 and I have a 4. But I can do some slight tweaking and get them to be the same. Just because I know that 16, 16 actually happens to be 4 squared. Right, 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. So if I take 16 and rewrite it as 4 squared, that allows me to kind of almost trick the problem into like, okay, well, we now have the same bases. Now we can set the exponents equal to each other. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we have the same bases, I'm going to take the exponents and set them equal to each other. So that means I'm going to take the 2 times the 3x plus 2, and I'm going to set that equal to the 5x minus 8. Right, and the 2 gets multiplied to the 3x plus 2 because of the power rules. A exponent <coughs> raised to another exponent gets multiplied together. So that's really 2 times 3x plus 2. So this is the equation that we need to solve. Distributing the 2 on the left-hand side, 2 times 3x gives us 6x. 2 times 2 gives us 4. And just dropping everything else down here. So I'm going to move my variables to the left, so I'm going to subtract 5x on both sides, which means I'm going to move my number to the right, so I'm going to go ahead and move that to the right as well, and kind of just move everything all in one step. On the left-hand side, 6x minus 5x is x, and on the right-hand side, negative 8 minus 4 is a negative 12. So we get that x is equal to a negative 12. Otherwise, that's it for this video.